Hello everybody, and welcome <clears throat> to this installment of new releases that actually came out um, all the way back in the last week of August up until a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, these aren't super new releases, but they're new to me, <clears throat> and they might be new to you. So first off, Weird Mass 25. The reason why this is such a collector's item is because I had to make this on a PC, and that was very tricky. And um, I didn't have any photo editing software. So the cover and the back cover are, um, and the spine even, are a bit, I don't want to say shit, but not up to my standards of quality. And um, I'm a little upset about that. And I might change it. But um, until then, this is what we have. Okay. So um, I kind of wanted to show this off a little bit. Because if you've been following my channel for a long time, um, Weird Mask has kind of been um, a big deal for me. Like, it's been kind of my thing. <clears throat> and if you don't know, it's kind of like my pulpy um, zine that I've been making. But this is not a zine. It it is a it's supposed to be like a bigger magazine type digesty thing, but it looks just like a book. Okay, and that's fine. And um, one of the reasons why I did it like this is because. Um, with Weird Mask, I could only do, like, I think the biggest issue of Weird Mask I ever did was, like, around 40 pages. And, um, th those were brutal to, um, make myself. And so most issues of Weird Mask were in between, like, 28 and 32 pages. And I always felt like I wanted to put a ton more in, and I couldn't. So doing something this big um, was kind of like the thing. I'm trying to see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so it's roughly 100 pages. Um, I think it's like 120 or 122. Okay. So... Um, that was kind of cool. Um, another thing is um, when I wanted to do Weird Mass 25, I kind of wanted it to be like a kind of like a greatest hits of Weird Mask. And um, so, like, I have a lot of older stuff in here that had been in a lot of the other issues of Weird Mask. Um, but because the, let's say, circulation of Weird Mask was usually somewhere in the range of um, like 30 to 50 copies, um, I just felt like there wasn't, there was so much good shit that not a lot of people were reading. So, um, doing it like this is kind of cool because it kind of ensures that there will be people reading this or whatever for years to come. Um, but I wanted to put some new stuff in here too because, um, there is some cool shit that I come across, you know? Um, so, and a lot of these people are on BookTube, which is another thing that I think is super fucking awesome about it. So, like, um, Jay Flynn, um, if you haven't seen his channel, um, check him out. Um, I found him, um, or came across him when, um, I was doing a lot of the Conspiracy Against the Human Race, um, videos, which I probably need to go back to do more of. Um, and then uh, Mark Mellon, he's not on YouTube, I don't think. But um, he writes, he has this um, 
this like barbarian character named Melkart, which um, is just awesome. And in the next Weird Mask, there'll be another story of his in there. Um, and then um, Mike from Pints and Paperbacks, if you remember that channel, he's got a story in here too. And then we go into, and then there's also um, DJ Tiber, um, Audrey Lewis, and I have a newer story in here. And then um, I have a bunch of stories that were like some of my favorite stories from older issues of Weird Mask. So, um, like Peter Clark, if you remember Peter Clark, um, SK Gun, who's that? She used to be on BookTube. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, David Wardrop um, and Brit, if you remember Brit on here. Um, so, like, it's kind of like a little fun community. And who, wait, and there's this guy you probably never heard of, Steve Donahue. He's got some stuff in here. <clears throat> And then I kind of round it out with some poetry that is like kind of like horror poetry um, or weird speculative poetry from some other people you would know, including um, Scott from the Bookish Brains. Okay, so there's it, it's it's a big um, booktube family thing going on here, but. Um, there's just a lot of cool stuff in here. And, like, another thing about um, this that I really like is, like, putting, like, old ads in. So we got some super old ads, and then we got some sexy 70s ads um, and stuff like that. And I put it on... Um, I wish the paper was a little more creamy, actually, but, like, a cream paper to, like, kind of age it a little bit. But um, just doing, like, fun uh, stuff like this, you know? I just... This is the stuff that kind of gets me cracking. Crack-a-lacking, you know? Um, oh, hey, skinny. Um, but, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So this is just a really fun um, collection Oh, and Regina's in here from Regina's Haunted Library. I can't believe I fucking missed that. Oh, yeah, because of the name. Um, all of us with our pen names. It gets confusing trying to remember who everybody is all the time. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so Weird Mass 25, it's out now. I'll have a link down below. Um, if you're interested in picking this up and, um, hopefully mother of all bastards. Huh? Well, I fucked that up. I just ripped the spine on it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so there's that. And then we have, um, poetic anarchy volume one. And some of you might be going poetic anarchy. That sounds familiar. Oh, it's because I've been beating it over your fucking head, um, over the last like six months. So Poetic Anarchy is the um, kind of like poetry course slash workshop thing um, I was doing. I've done two classes so far. Um, and when I say classes, I mean uh, eight classes <laughs> over a, like about a month. But in this one, um, this is the poetry that was written by the class during that time. So, um, Scott from the Bookish Bryants is in here, and you might recognize a couple more of these names, but, um, Christine Grace, Allison K. Hadley, Bunny Wild, and yours truly, um, have a bunch of poetry in here, and it's a book of poetry. Um, yeah, so this is also available. This is really fucking awesome. This is kind of like one of those things where it's like... I'm so thrilled to be a part of it and um, humbled that I was able to um, 
I don't want to say help guide, but um, I, I, I don't know how else to say it. it. It's to see some of these people who've never written anything before in their life um, put out the stuff they put out, like, kind of blew me away. So this is really cool. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, no, no, look at that. And then... Um, we just finished the second class and so later in the month or the beginning of next month probably the beginning of next month there will be um, the volume two book with the um, poets from that course so I still have this like fucking horrible cockney Dracula thing going on so um, anyway so I'll also have a link for this down below um, yeah I'm just, I'm tickled pink, tickled to shit over how amazing um, that went. Oh, you know what? That might have just happened from shipping now that I think about it because it's in the same spot. Yeah, maybe I didn't rip the spine on that book. So anyway, um, those are some new releases. So if you like pulpy, speculative, horror, sci-fi, fantasy um, stuff pick up weird mask if you like fucking really amazing fucking poetry um pick up the poetic anarchy book both of the links will be down below and um kisses to all of you and i will talk to you later Bye bye <laughs>